how to draw your map of a uh, hood. Talking about maps is not easy. We have thousands of different kinds of maps and thousands of possible ways to create maps. But why a map? Uh, we have a map uh, to, to have the right dimensions or to locate a place uh, or to get there. For this need, we have a lot of things. Atlas, GPS, the incredible and stunning Google map uh, on uh, our phones. But we are talking about your map. Your map uh, is special because it's a personal map, it's a way to tell a story. And to have fun with pens, color, lettering, calligraphy, your map uh, means also less technology and more emotions. So we have step number one, first rough. Uh, an easy way to start is to use an existing image as a reference, like this one, for example. A good idea is also working on a small size at the beginning, it's more easy. Here we need a tracing paper. This is a semi-transparent paper. You can buy it in uh, shops. They sell uh, in blocks or in single uh, pieces. We need a pencil or a pen or a liner. Overlay a piece of tracing paper on your map. You can start tracing the main elements. You can do it uh, directly on the computer screen if you have the digital image or using the printed map. Um, main elements are borders, streets, uh, paths, point of reference like buildings, water like streams or ponds, benches. You can add a scale of reference if you like. Don't worry about the quality of these first lines, we'll improve them later. Haha, <laughs> step number two, your story. Now we are going to add something more, a story. We need a title. Title could be the name of the wood. And uh, in this case, for example, you, we can use, uh, from, let me think, uh, okay, happy map wood. I like it. Now place your favorite spots. Uh, it could be the place where I fell in love with this wood or my dog's favorite spot. You can invent names if you like. ID River for example, the stream where I took a bath with my wallet, all my documents inside or the small Amazon River due to the presence of mosquitoes in summer a lot of bluebells here in spring, the Sunset Place, uh, Johnny's Land, my nice neighborhood, or Hicksunt Leones. This is a Latin phrase that means here there are lions, used on the old maps to indicate unexplored and maybe dangerous land. Remember, this is your map and it's up uh, to you to find the right balance between a topographic uh, scientific approach and a emotive, personal, even silly, I may say, touch. Tell the people why your hood is a special place. Step number three, retracing. Now, we have all the elements we want, more or less. We need to organize them better correct mistakes, improving lettering, decide if you want uh, delayed or adding something more. Oh, we have a lot of things to do. We need a piece of tracing paper. When we design maps, texts come first. They need to be clear. Lines and drawings will come later. Lettering is a big and fascinating word, but we don't have uh, too much time here. Maybe, maybe next time. But retracing our first trembling experiment, you will see the lettering will get more and more precise and clear. A good map needs a border, so we can do it. If something went wrong, don't worry and keep going. We'll fix it later. 
A real map needs a compass too. Where can we find a compass? Simple, on books or on internet. When you find something you like with your tracing paper, you can do it. Retrace an object is a good way to learn and to observe and to remember. And now, rewrite the words. We need uh, to slightly compress the small Amazon River, for example. When you write, it's better to keep a little piece of paper under your hand to keep the paper clean and avoid uh, to damage the writings already made. Blue bell in Spain. Spain! Uh, gosh! Every time I've done a lot of spelling mistakes, even when I write in Italian. Okay. But here, now, we have something that uh, starts to look like a map. Step number four, retracing again. <laughs> I'm not joking, I'm serious. Retraced drawing, drawings is a trick very useful. A map is a composition of many elements. And a good composition doesn't, co doesn't come at first. Sometimes more retracings are needed. Uh, when I do map, uh, usually I've done six, eight steps, making small adjustment every time. And also I have to retrace it because I have to take care of my, of my spelling mistakes. Retracing is not a mechanic and boring exercise and no less is a penalty for all your previous mistakes. Mistakes are part of the creative process. To rewrite for three or more times the same line or the same word give you the opportunity to see how a even millimetric change could make the difference. Again, you are not copying you are learning. And now, retrace again. No, okay, I'm really joking now. We can decide that our map is okay now and we can uh, print it. Uh, we can print it on, on a normal paper or colored paper or watercolor paper, all kind of paper. The interesting thing is uh, with more copies, you can feel more safe to do different experiments with color. Uh, usually all the people are a little bit afraid to mess up all the work adding color. For these experiments I suggest to reduce the colors as much as you can. Just two green one blue, one red, uh, yellow, okay. Some tests on the side is, uh, is a, always a good idea to check how color and paper works. You can try different nuances or uh, you can try to mix colors. Use colors in a soft way and do more overlays uh, with color. Take your time don't run to see the final result and enjoy it. I don't know, listen to the radio, sing a song, um, I don't know, volare, oh, oh, cantare, oh, 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 nel blu, dipinto di blu, felice di stare lassù. Now we have uh, the texture, the plants. So we can do our text on the side and then with a little bit of courage we go on the map. Be brave, uh, be bold, uh, try colors and forms. You have plenty of copies ready to be colored. Enjoy pen, pencil, watercolors. I have some tricks for you with watercolors, maybe in the next video. Here you have your map. Do you like it? Yes? No? 
If no, leave it for a while. Suspend the judgment. When you return after a while on the crime scene, you look at it with different and maybe kind eyes. Mm, to be my first map is not so bad. You can print some copies on a cardboard and send it to your friends. And to me, if you like. I'll be very pleased to receive it. Recapping. Your map could be more interesting than a map. Play with names and stories. Remember the retracing trick to get the composition more and more accurate. Forget all the color palette for now. Four or five colors is enough. Look at map and atlas. Find their inspirations. Copying is not a crime. It's a good way to learn. Remember this. And have nice maps.